Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor from Johnson County Community College. And in this short screencast, I'm going to share some of my favorite JavaScript learning resources. At my website, students.jccc.edu slash Lisa L. Fry, I have a resources link where I've tried to load some of my favorite tutorials and websites for a variety of web-related resources. But in this screencast, I'm going to specifically talk about my favorite JavaScript resources. Let's start with textbooks. Cengage.com offers two different JavaScript textbooks. One is in the New Perspective series by Patrick Carey, which is chocked full of hands-on exercises, excellent explanations, and lots of figures, so you can follow along and make sure that what you're doing is successful. So it's a real teaching textbook. Another choice is the JavaScript book by Sasha Vodnik, it too is chock full of real world hands-on exercises. If you want a more visual approach, this particular textbook I've found to be absolutely beautiful from a design standpoint. And you can tell by their website that they're really into design. It's on JavaScript and jQuery. And I would caution you from learning jQuery or any popular library until you really understand JavaScript well. Because after all, all these libraries are doing is taking JavaScript and extending it, simplifying it or extending it so that it does more things or more things easier. The current trend is to go back to vanilla JavaScript and do things just through JavaScript to lower the complexity and lower the overhead on your web pages. So while this book is great, any book that has JavaScript and jQuery in it, be sure you have JavaScript down solid before you jump into a library. And finally, I want to mention this textbook. It's inexpensive, and you can put this in front of you and have an explanation on the left and code and examples on the right. So the Muroc series is also an excellent way to dig into JavaScript. As far as online resources, I have to mention w3schools.com. It is one of the top websites for web development. In fact, it's one of the top websites of, of all websites. Excellent for HTML and CSS and also great for JavaScript and all these other languages because they are able to break up all these subjects into bite-sized pieces and then include a little explanation and a try it yourself button where you can work on your code on the left and then run it. I would caution you when you get to JavaScript and even CSS to be aware that in order to make it easy to use embedded styles and JavaScript versus external files. So you're going to want to be clear on that with any of these online resources because often they cut corners to get everything crammed onto one page. But w3schools.com is certainly a fantastic site and here's the little search button in the upper right hand corner to look for anything related to these languages. As far as learning JavaScript, I found freecodecamp.org amazing. I have probably tried 20 different online sites to learn how to code JavaScript. And what Free Code Camp does is takes you through HTML, takes you through CSS, and also takes you through JavaScript, but doesn't let you go faster than you can actually understand and successfully complete that challenge. So there's a little break there that I think is very helpful in learning how to code. FreeCodeCamp.org, it's a wonderful site. And as far as textbooks go, I must mention JavaScript.info. This is extremely impressive from many different standpoints. It goes through JavaScript extensively, both as a pure language, and then there's a whole set of tutorials and chapters on interacting with the browser. And it is really fantastic because I've never seen an online book as well organized and as flexible and as effective as this. Not only do you have a table of contents easily accessible on the left, as you go through the book, you see the code snippets, you can click them to edit them in a sandbox, the illustrations are beautiful, and at the end of every chapter, there's a beautiful summary, there are some end of chapter exercises in the chapters that have code, and there's a comment section. So it's interactive. So it's a living textbook. And while I love curling up with a good book, if you want to practice your code while you're reading the textbook, javascript.info is the bomb. I love this site. Now let's go to my favorite YouTube resources. My two favorite JavaScript authors are Tony and Fun Fun Function. This video, it's three and a half hours, understanding the weird parts, is all about pure JavaScript. We don't get into manipulating the DOM. 
but you will understand what a function is, what an expression is, what a variable is, and how that works better after you watch this video than practically anything I've seen on the internet. I am so impressed with Tony. The final YouTube channel that I'd like to encourage you to look at is Fun Fun Function. This guy also knows JavaScript inside and out, and his background is in theater and video production. So his YouTube's also very highly entertaining. He also likes to just talk about programming in general and the healthy parts of it and the difficult parts of it. Interesting and refreshing because he's speaking about being a programmer and being a developer from a very personal standpoint. So those are some of my favorite resources. I know there's a million places to go for your information. I think the key to this is to find high quality authors that explain things from your perspective. For example, if you're coming from a C++ perspective, that is a different way of seeing code than if you're coming at it from an HTML and CSS perspective. I think the trick is finding the quality resources and the ones that speak to you from where you're at. I really think that the background of the person that's teaching you is essential because the terminology that they're using is so critical to connecting with you and helping you understand. Thank you.